a therapist gives you that kind of bird's eye view of yourself that you can't seem to have when you have yeah. when you when you're doing a self in- inventory because when you're ruminating in your own head there's a great saying it's that you learn how you feel when you say it out loud and I've I've found that absolutely to be true because if you you're in a dialogue you don't even finish your sentences you're like oh you should have done this you should have done that you're not good enough all that kind of stuff whereas if you're saying that out loud it's like wow why am I talking to myself that way and a therapist said to me, Kath, um, you know, in a very non-judgmental way, she was like, let's say that this was your friend going through this loss and, and all those sorts of things. And you heard them saying the things that you're saying out loud now, no judgment. If you believe that these are true, then that's okay. We'll, we'll work through that. But if this is your best friend sitting in this seat right here, and she was telling you about the experiences she'd just been through, how would you respond? Not as a therapist, as a friend. And I'd say, and 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 immediately I was like, oh, I would absolutely tell her that, you know, that's not the case and um, and that she deserves some compassion and that this is not her fault and all this kind of stuff. And she's just like, okay. Um, sort of like got that half slice sort of smile on her face going, can you see why you're probably being a little bit unkind to yourself right now? Because you know, when you take that removed step back, you can actually say, well, no, that's not fair. That's not a fair reflection of the situation. She she couldn't have seen it. Like, there's no way. Do you know what I mean? And so yeah. it was a great thing for me to be able to do to go, well, if I wouldn't expect this from someone else, why am I expecting it out of myself? And if I'm, you know, I wouldn't, I, if a friend said that out loud to me, I would just cuddle the hell out of them. Like I would just wrap them in my arms and, and I wouldn't let them go until they told me otherwise. And um, I think that, you know, so often where, especially in Australia, and I know I've lived in the UK as well, we can be so hard on ourselves. And here in Australia, we call, you know, tall poppy syndrome. Um, we don't want to get too big of an ego. And 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 I know that in the UK, it's the same thing. I, like, I think there are some very big similarities culturally in that respect. And yeah, we, we never afford ourselves the compassion or kindness that we truly deserve, I don't think. And um, you know, part of my my talks now that I give to corporates and school kids, you know, whenever we get onto a plane, what's the first message that we hear? It's the safety message in case of an emergency. Oxygen masks will fall down from the ceiling. Put yours on first before helping others. And 10 years ago, I would have said, oh, there's no way I would do that. If I had my, you know, eight-year-old nephew next to me or someone less able, I would absolutely put their oxygen mask on first. And the more I've grown and learned as an adult um, is that we, we can't help others unless we've helped ourselves first. And um, and that that requires radical self-acceptance and, and radical kindness as well. And I'm not talking huge things. I'm talking, you know, getting your favourite coffee or whatever yeah. kindness looks like to you or patting a dog or kissing your spouse or telling them that you love them or, you know, kindness looks so different to all of us. Um, and, and it doesn't, it can be a very unique approach or a unique experience in that sense. And um, the best thing that you can always do is, is look after yourself first because we can't look after others and unless we've looked after ourselves first. And, and that's a way that I am able to practice more kindness towards others is, is absolutely looking after myself and, and being kind to myself in the process as well. 